Hey, I'm Katie Keane, goalkeeper for Atlone Town. I joined Atlone there on the 27th of July. It was coincidence because it was my birthday, just came back from holidays and yeah, just went into the stadium, met Laurie at the stadium as well, Kieran and uh, Ken, and then signed the contract there on that day. Yeah, look, it's been incredible so far. There's such a togetherness within the club and between the girls. There's just such a good vibe around it and everyone is working together and working for each other. So it's absolutely brilliant. You kind of get used to it over time. Like at the start, it definitely was in the first game. It was really interesting because it was like a nerve wracking game. But like as soon as I got through the warm up in the first half, like it was just a real calming state then from there on. Like I had Laurie on my back saying like, you don't need to worry, like you got this. So that was really, really nice. Getting into that alone setup and playing regularly was amazing. And then going through the quarter final in a penalty shootout and semi final now is just incredible. Yeah, nerve wracking game, like team out, like top of the table and looking like they're going to go and win it. Like, incredible team and such a hard team to play against. It was always going to be a nerve wracking game, but we stuck it out and we kept going. We knew when it hit extra time, we were like, this is going to go to penalties, it's going to be another round of the Galway. So went to penos, we missed two of our penos and then we came back within the peno shootout and ended up winning it. So brilliant result all in all and the feeling afterwards was just pure excitement. So in the quarter final, coming down to the fifth and final peno, if we saved it we won. So stepped up, uh, went down to bottom left and saved the peno. <laughs> Unbelievable. Got up and then the girls were there and they jumped on top of me. Got crushed. Funny though. <laughs> Look, when I started off down in Toe Harps, my first ever club, I was actually a midfielder. Now, Kun kicks an awful rope, but that's okay. So then just after a game, it came down to a peno and there was no one who wanted to go and goal. So I used to play football in the Gary Wimber Brothers and to play I'd have to go and goal. So they threw me in, ended up saving the peno and I haven't moved from there since. So look, being a young keeper in the Women's National League, it's an amazing feeling. Like to have that support of your team around you as well is brilliant. Is it? hard yes of course it is but that's like anything else in life it is going to be hard at times but from what you do and from what you learn throughout the games and through every training session every mistake that you learn from it's unbelievable what you can do just once you can balance your own life your social life football and keep everything together like me myself I love music so anytime I'm going to a game or I'm pre-match I'm always listening to music I'm always just being happy listening to music before I go to warm up or anything being around international teams, like starting from the under 16s with Tom Elms into under 17s with James Scott, under 19s under Dave, like it's been absolutely incredible so far. And then being lucky enough to be called into a senior squad there last November was unbelievable. The Marbella camp was unreal. Like it's just so surreal to walk into a camp, see the likes of Courtney Brosnan, Grace Maloney, Megan, and then Kate McCabe standing in front of you. It was like a dream come true, to be honest. And look, you learn so much from it. The girls are amazing, the staff are amazing, they were so welcoming and you really feel at home. It's not as if you're just the young one coming in, you're just there and you're part of the team and that's how you feel the whole time and there's nothing to change. Yeah, look, 100%, every camp you learn something new, you have a new way of playing out, you have a new tactic, you have a new shot stopping ability, you never know what you can come back with but it's always amazing to come back and invite other people to see what you've done and to show off what you've learned and then to be able to bring it into your game with your team and hopefully provide a better scoreline or a clean sheet in my case. <laughs> yeah, we're heading into the semi-final of the Sports Direct FAI Women's Cup and it's up in the showgrounds in Sligo, so it's a fair travelling distance, but like, look, we always train the same. It's a game of football, it's unpredictable, 90 minutes, could even be 120, could even go to penos, you never know what will happen. So it's a brilliant place to be in.